Hey, Summit Daily viewers, Antonio Olivero, sports and outdoors editor with the Summit Daily. Coming at you with another boot prints hiking guide. After some uh, smoke in the air with the wildfires last week, we decided to skip out on boot prints, but we're back this week. Figured give it a go at the absolutely mobbed trail up to the Crystal Lakes here. Kind of going toward Brecken, uh, Blue River, I should say, from Breckenridge. Unbelievable crowds. I mean, it looks like quandary on steroids the amount of cars up on spruce creek road so uh yeah we weren't the best today in terms of our our hiking plan started a little bit later than we would have liked but still just in awe of these crowds um but it should be a nice hike gain about a little over 2,000 feet over a little more than four miles up to upper crystal lake a view deep up in the 10 mile mosquito range that i've been looking forward to for a while so we'll see what the hiking's like with the crowds, with the uh, smoke in the air, um, but it should be dry and clear the rest of the day. So for hiking, it should be good. All right, so as we continue up the Jeep road, you can see all the cars out on this Saturday. Worth noting, we're gonna bear right at this first Jeep road junction to the gate at right to continue up to the Crystal Lakes, lower and upper. Other hikers are continuing to other terrain, other lakes at lift. We're about 1.1 miles in where we parked our car, somewhere between a tenth of a mile and a quarter of a mile below the Spruce Creek trailhead. And it's just been an unrelenting climb on this Jeep road. Pretty much the totality of the start of this hike gained between 700 and 800 feet of elevation. This gives you an idea of the the road and the ascent been a couple spots where it's flattened out but it's been a pretty steady climb definitely kicks your butt to start so also worth noting not too much shade on this trail slash road as it is a jeep road and there is kind of clearance up above not really a canopy jeeps other high clearance vehicles, which for what it's worth are the only vehicles that are gonna be able to pass by the washouts just above the Spruce Creek Trailhead. They're coming pretty uh, intermittently up and down the road. So I've been using them driving past as rest breaks, uh, but this has been kicking my butt so far, especially with the uh, air quality. So 1.6 miles on the Jeep road and about 1,100 feet of elevation gain into our hike, we reached the Jeep road's junction with the Wheeler Trail, which at right, will ultimately climb in between peaks eight and nine at Breckenridge Ski Resort in the White River National Forest to Wheeler Pass. Uh, we are not gonna continue on this trail. We're gonna continue up the Jeep road to these views of, from the lakes of these peaks up ahead, Father Dyer Peak, I believe that's Mount Helen at left. Yeah, continuing climbing in the 10 mile mosquito. We're about 1.7 miles into this hike and shortly after you reach the junction with the Wheeler Trail, the views become truly magnificent of the 10 mile mosquito. Just jaw dropping. Um, high clearance vehicles can still drive through here, but um, let it be known if maybe you don't feel up to going all the way to the terminus of the Upper Crystal Lake Trail. Uh, if the beginning of this hike is really difficult for you and believe me it will kick your butt uh, just getting up here and, and seeing these views right at the base of these rocky mountains near and above tree line is just something special so yeah feel free to turn around here if you're not feeling up to going all the way and climbing a little over twice as much as you've as you've climbed to get right here this is just beautiful as we cross this little trickling creek, trickling brook across the Jeep road, a couple things worth noting. One, certainly would highly recommend trying to do this hike later in the summer, especially in a big snow year. We don't have the biggest snow year this year up in Summit County, but still got quite a bit of runoff in the middle of a dry, hot August. So don't think you're gonna be getting to this trail 
hiking, driving up this road early in summer. Uh, and then the other thing worth noting is, as we meander through this alpine meadow, this is a respite, kind of in the middle of the hike after some punches straight in the mouth, climbing on the Jeep road, ascending to start. So uh, a couple things worth noting there as we take the views of the 10 mile mosquito. All right, we've gained about 1600 feet as we reach lower Crystal Lake. You can see some of the Jeepers and day users who are pulling off here and enjoying this high alpine lake. Father Dyer Peak staring straight ahead. We're gonna climb a little bit further, a little higher up here in the 10 mile mosquito. It's pretty cool just seeing the, all the different users here about 2.6 miles into our hike, 1,600 feet of gain, just under 12,000 feet. We got Jeepers, we got hikers, we got people, looks like fishing a little bit. Then up ahead, we'll stick with you as we get this glorious view of the super impressive slides on Helen, the peak straight ahead. You can see somebody on horseback on this Jeep road trail. So just super cool to see all the different recreators here high up in the Rockies as we reach lower crystal and continue to head up to upper crystal. Well, oh, geez, I was so enamored with the slides on Helen and all the different recreating going up, going on up here at the lake that I bared left when I should have bared right. So we're gonna continue kind of down this way once you reach this old high alpine ruin, that's when you're gonna know that you're gonna continue right at the lake, which you can see right here. So we're gonna continue right here and uh, continue up, hopefully reaching Upper Crystal Lake. All right, we are 3.3 miles and just under 2,000 feet of elevation gain into our hike. So that Jeep road, which you can see down at left, where those uh, Jeepers and stand-up paddle boarders are, enjoying uh, Lower Crystal Lake. That Jeep road ultimately kind of becomes a single track here as we hug to the right and continue to hike up to gain this rocky ridge line. Not sure if we're gonna top out on, on the ridge at all or if we're just gonna hike amidst the uh, talus uh, ultimately to our destination, which is Upper Crystal Lake. But just a heads up, it, becomes more single track like as we start to climb away from Lower Crystal Lake. There's Baldy and I believe Boreas Mountains in view in the distance. All right, it's a little windy up here, but bear with me. We're at about 12,800 feet. We're gonna continue straight ahead on this trail to Upper Crystal Lake, which we should see shortly. Just maybe another half mile left in our, in our hike until our terminus where we turn around. But it's right here where there's a little cairn right here and then a super steep climb that leads you up to, I believe, Crystal Peak, um, the summit or near the summit. So we're gonna continue on the Crystal Lake Trail and there's Father Dyer Peak up ahead. You can look behind us. We've climbed slowly and steadily, just a bunch of ascension and a few initial switchbacks and then just climbing along that single track trail through the talus as we continue on, but just give you an idea of the climbing we've done since we last left you. Just below 1,300 feet, just under 2,700 feet of gain into our hike. We are reaching Upper Crystal Lake. I'm gonna skirt down here to the left so that we can access the lake from that trail up ahead. But just know that you can continue on to the right and kind of get to the back uh, behind the lake. All right, here we are. Upper Crystal Lake, I'd say about 4.5 miles from the Spruce Creek Trailhead, about 4.7 miles from where we started our hike from our car on Spruce Creek Road. Crystal Peak at right. See the trail that skirts behind the lake over there. And then as we continue on this trail through the alpine vegetation, so close to the summit of Father Dyer Peak, one of the most amazing mountains here in the 10 Mile Mosquito, viewing it from the backside at the moment so difficult hike <laughs> don't recommend for any novices um you're going to be ascending pretty steadily the entire way um kind of a tough ascension at the beginning on the jeep road then it mellows out in the meadow and then 
an even more difficult ascension as you approach 13,000 feet to get all the way up here to the beautiful Upper Crystal Lake. It's worth noting, I've run into a handful of people in groups on this hike, but I think most of the people who were parked down by Spruce Creek Road were hiking to, toward um, the Mohawk Lakes for what that's worth. So not too crowded of a hike on this summer Saturday up to these two lakes. Thanks for joining me. As we make our way down the trail through the talus, you may not be able to see it, but up ahead, uh, the flag at the top of Peak 10, that's Peak 10 straight ahead, uh, is blowing in the wind. So this gives you an idea of how high up we are and how close we are to Peak 10 and Breckenridge Ski Resort off the backside of that iconic summit. 